Well, supply chain delays, a lack of inventory, higher transportation costs have all become reality for big box stores and small business owners alike. We're heading into one of the busiest shopping weeks of the year. So where do things stand this Monday morning? Three on your side, Susan Campbell is on location this morning. She is live near the Port of Los Angeles and the Port of Long Beach uh, with a look at this issue that has just really, you know, rocked the, the everybody's the communities, world. the world, the economy, <laughs> and uh, certainly shaking up your plans for holiday shopping. It really has, and this is kind of the heart of where everything is happening. So I want to give you a little bit of a lay of the land of what's going on. So right now we are in the Port of Los Angeles, right next door, Port of Long Beach. This is where about 40% of the goods that come into our country through containers actually show up. So there is just an incredible amount of work that's going on here, and there are containers stacked as far as you can see. We were seeing them along the roads when we were driving in, and they are stacked, you know, 10, 12 high um, all over the place. So I want to give you just a look about what going on here. So we have uh, containers, tens of thousands of containers that are sitting on docks waiting to be unloaded. We have tens of thousands of containers that are empty, taking up spaces on those docks that's preventing some of the ships from being unloaded. If you see off in the distance, there is a container ship that we've seen move just a little bit this morning. So we, we believe that that is headed back out to sea and then we'll see another ship coming in. Now this bottleneck is happening because of an unprecedented consumer demand and worker shortages. So what that means is that we're really buying more and there aren't enough people to get the things that we are buying where we want them to go. So here's what we know right now. Right now, there are about 18 ships in the port working. About 100 vessels are waiting to come into port with billions of dollars worth of products waiting to be unloaded. The average time those ships are waiting at anchor is more than 18 days. And though there have been talks of increasing work here to 24-7, Gene Soroka, the executive director of the Port of Los Angeles, says it's not really happening right now. As the cargo began to surge, we implemented flex hours, opening the gates a little bit earlier, staggering lunches, working a little bit later in between the day and night side shifts. While offering the 24-7 capability here at the port, it's an effort to try to get this entire orchestra of supply chain players to get on the same calendar. We've had very few takers to date. So right now it is estimated that hundreds of thousands of jobs are available in the trucking and warehouse industries, industries that are obviously critical to getting cargo unloaded from ships and off the docks. Supply chain analysts say the supply chain bottleneck will continue to crush small businesses. Look, the big guys, the Costco's, the Target's, the Amazon's, the Walmart's, they own and lease enough of their own ships and can prioritize their stuff enough, they're going to be fine, fine-ish. Um, but the small businesses are the ones that are really taking it, um, taking it in the shorts. And so those are the ones that I worry about the most. What are these folks going to do when they have, you know, container loads worth of inventory that they can't sell until next holiday season? So when we're talking about the 24-7 uh, work, this is kind of an example of it. We have cranes here that are just stagnant. So we're waiting on ships to come in, ships to go out, and really worrying about where to put these containers once they are able to come off of ships. So this kind of gives you just a picture of what's going on here. I also wanted to get a little bit of an idea of how big these containers actually are. So I was talking to somebody who did a lot of importing. He said uh, you could typically fit about 65 pool tables into one of these containers. So that just gives you an idea of the scope of how much product is actually coming in to these docks, how much product is actually sitting here, not getting loaded onto trucks, not getting loaded onto trains, uh, and waiting to get to the consumers who are buying everything. Guys. Hey, hey, Susan, I was curious how you were welcomed there. I mean, are they open about everything and talking to you or do they not want the media there? Yeah, no, everything's um, pretty open. I mean, right now we are standing right in, in the harbor, um, and uh, but we did get in late last night. So we drove in, we kind of saw a lay of the land, um, and they have been very open about okay. updating their numbers every single day. So you can go on to both ports' websites and see the numbers of every single ship that's working, how many containers are coming off, how many are going back onto ships and getting out of the port. So I think there is a good open line of communication. Uh, it's just that there is this bottleneck and there aren't enough people to move the yeah. cargo out of here.
as dysfunctional as it may be, it's a beautiful view behind her, that's for sure. Yes, right? it is. Yep. <laughs> Thank it's you, a good, It's a good way to wake up. Yeah, good morning, Arizona. <laughs> good yeah, morning, no Arizona, doubt. from wow. California. Appreciate it.